let's discuss this with Aina Tanjin. He's a China analyst based in Beijing. Thank you for your time. Now, some critics of uh, China have been saying that this trial really is just retribution for Huawei executive Meng Wanzhou, and she's detained in Canada as the U.S. wants to extradite her and charge her there. Do you believe that this is the case? Well, it's not necessarily what I believe, but uh, the Chinese government uh, categorically denies it, although the timing is uh, very suspicious. Uh, given that it was a few days after her uh, interdiction. Uh, obviously, the Chinese government was very angry about that. Uh, but in the absence of any proof, uh, we have to assume that they were, uh, in essence, uh, following these individuals. I doubt if they uh, just kind of seized two Canadians at random. There are many Canadians here in Beijing. Uh, they obviously had some inkling of what was going on or suspicions. Uh, so at this time, we're at the trial period. Now, the relationship between the U.S. and China is already so strained, especially over the last uh, four or five years. And we didn't see much action from last week's meeting in Alaska between those two. How do these cases now impact this relationship that's not only important for the U.S. and China, but for much of the world as well? Well, it, there's this kind of a uh, feeling uh, in not only in China, but in other places that the Anglosphere, uh, you know, the five major English speaking uh, countries, maybe uh, New Zealand, not so much, but uh, definitely uh, Canada, U.S., Great Britain and Australia are kind of uh, moving towards this idea that they have an ideological uh, hard line. Uh, in terms of uh, you know, free market economics and also uh, de democracy and that they feel that they have to uh, put China in its place, contain its economic rise, and counter any kind of political or physical things. The difficulty there is uh, uh, China's economic footprint is growing so large and expected to grow larger. So at this point, it seems uh, it's a kind of a rear guard action. Um, the, uh, what happened in Anchorage was highly surprising. It was supposed to be a very choreographed event, as all these things are. Uh, all the people involved were professionals. Uh, you know, Anthony Blinken has done literally hundreds of these. Uh, drawing outside the box was a, let us say, a deliberate uh, situation, and it evoked a, a very, very spirited response from uh, Beijing. Uh, do you think these latest cases are going to impact uh, other businessmen from around the world and organizations, really, from doing work in China? No, I, I don't actually think so. Um, and, and the reason I say that is money is pouring into China, and China is actually uh, liberalizing and opening up its economy. Uh, you start looking at the amount of money that's flowing into Chinese bonds, the amount of investment, because it's uh, the only operating uh, economy, uh, the size of its market. Um, I don't think most people are afraid of it. The issue, though, is the political uncertainty which can be caused when, uh, you know, either if it's the U.S. or Canada or Australia uh, starts taking aggressive actions towards or actions that Beijing perceives as aggressive towards it, uh, there can be uh, some sort of political backlash. I have talked to people um, who are uh, Americans, uh, Canadians, etc., how they feel. They say that they, uh, uh, doing business in China, they say they uh, are keeping a weather eye out, but they uh, really feel that the opportunities here are worth uh, any small political risk. Uh, they're betting that they can see which way the political winds are blowing uh, before it impacts them personally. Aina Tanshin, great to get your take on this as always. Live to us there from Beijing.